The day doesn't start well for anesthesiologist Dr. Miller. Traffic is bad, and now his boss is calling and wants to discuss quite a few things before the start of his shift. Fortunately, Dr. Miller's car has a lane assist system, so he can focus on the conversation with his boss. So he arrives at work relaxed, despite the difficult commute. However, the rest of his day is not so relaxed. There are many operations on the board today. Here we go. The patient is given a relaxant. Dr. Miller must ventilate the patient without spontaneous breathing. Therefore, auto flow and the VT is set to 470 milliliters, frequency at 10. That's a good start. Dr. Miller thinks it over. The end tidal CO2 is too high. He increases the frequency to 12. Let's see what happens. Hmm. The end tidal CO2 value is still at 5.7%. Dr. Miller wants the end tidal CO2 to be lower. Should he increase the VT? Increase the frequency? Okay, how far through the surgery is he? Almost finished with the surgery. So Dr. Miller starts stimulating the patient's spontaneous breathing. Dr. Miller considers, should he use pressure support? Minimum frequency? Dr. Miller has to adjust the pressure support again. Finally finished, now he can take a deep breath. Some help would be a great idea. No, that's not what I meant. Not that either. More like the lane assist system in his car. Thanks to that system, Dr. Miller was able to concentrate on the essentials this morning without neglecting the traffic. But Dr. Miller, there is such a thing that exists already. Smart Ventilation Control, also known as SVC. SVC supports the anesthesiologist through every transition, from controlled ventilation to assisted ventilation and spontaneous breathing. How does it work? Similar to a lane assist system, Dr. Miller defined his route, which is the VT and end tidal CO2 values. The SVC ensures that this route is followed. Clinically, it looks like this. The patient is given a relaxant. Dr. Miller starts smart ventilation control and defines the target areas. End tidal CO2, 4.3 to 5.7%. VT, 6 to 9 milliliters. Now, Dr. Miller chooses smart ventilation control and sets the respiratory goal to controlled ventilation. Dr. Miller can now intervene immediately if there are complications. The patient is completely stable. This time, the surgery was quick. Now the patient has to start breathing spontaneously again so that he can be extubated quickly. Dr. Miller chooses prepare extubation in smart ventilation control. Done. Great. Dr. Miller thinks that he and SVC are a dream team. The assistant system supports him in the daily challenges.